Hi guys, it's Laura. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I would like to talk about what I think makes a person look younger. I'm gonna be 43 very soon and people always tell me like, you look so much younger, I can't believe that you are over 40. I think it's partially genetics, which is of course not fair, but I think there are certain things that make a person to look younger and I would like to share my thoughts on that. I believe that the most important thing is to not think about your age too much. I always hear young girls saying like, oh, I'm getting old and they're like mid twenties, which is absolutely ridiculous. There's nothing old about being like 25 or 27. I, I feel like this definition of old is something we should let go because the moment you stop thinking about your age and the moment you let it go, it doesn't sound so scary. So that's definitely my advice number one. The other thing that I find personally very important is to stay a child in your heart. As we mature, we tend to be more serious, but I feel like it's really important to be able to laugh about ourselves, to be able to laugh about stupid childish things. There's nothing wrong with watching SpongeBob when you're over 40. There's nothing wrong with liking plush animals when you're over 50. It's just a wonderful thing. And also, being like a child means for me personally also enjoying the simple things in life. And as long as you can still do that in any age, I think um, it makes you kind of appear younger because what is deep in your heart reflects also on the surface. Number three, you need to eat well. Eat lots of veggies and fruits and drink lots of water. Make sure that you eat food that has enough calories, that has enough nutrients, and water is really something I cannot say often enough how important it is. I always have my glass of water next to me, which is half a liter, and I make sure I drink at least five or six of these a day. You can buy yourself a nice bottle that you can always carry with you, take it with you to the office. So this is something I can't stress enough because you need to stay hydrated. Your skin is going to thank you, and in general, your whole body is going to thank you. I personally do not drink alcohol and I also don't smoke. Now, I don't think that drinking moderate amounts of alcohol is in general horrible for you, but let's be honest, if you would drink every day, it won't be necessarily great for you. And the same goes for smoking. Like, if you're still smoking, just let it go. It's, it's really unhealthy, it's really bad. It's bad for your skin, it's bad for your lungs. I used to drink quite a lot of alcohol, I used to smoke, and I really noticed the huge difference when I stopped with both. And that's why I'm telling you, it's really not the same. When you smoke, your skin really looks different. And the same goes for alcohol. If you're constantly hungover, you're not gonna look great. You're not gonna feel great, aka you're gonna feel older and you're gonna feel like crap in your own body. I can also advise anyone to carefully pick what you're putting on your body. If it's a lotion or a perfume or deodorant, some things have really harsh chemicals in them. I personally use mostly organic cosmetics, but I do have some things where I know they are not necessarily the best for me. So try to reduce it to a minimum. Do your research. And if you find some brand that has affordable, great organic cosmetics, that's the best you can do. I personally also love using coconut oil on my body, especially in summer, because it hydrates my body and it nourishes it wonderfully. Like when I got the new tattoo, I basically took care of it only with coconut oil and it healed so fast and so wonderful. So something I can really highly recommend. One thing that I definitely noticed over the past few years is how much your hair can make you look either more mature or youthful. I had a pixie last year. I cut my hair shortly only because I used to have hair loss years ago and the hair was still uneven and I hated it and I wanted to have a fresh start. So I cut my hair short, but I knew I'm gonna grow it out again. When I look back at the pictures, I think I look great with Pixie. I think it's a really nice haircut and I think it was all right. However, when I compare myself like this with the photos where I had my Pixie, I feel like it made me look more mature. That doesn't necessarily mean that short hair makes everyone look more mature. I think it's important to know what goes with the shape of your face and also your hair color might make the distinction because sometimes 
there are hair colors that do not complement uh, complement your complexion and they can make you look either older or paler so you wouldn't feel really great in your own body so that's something you should definitely look at and if you find someone who can advise you there that would be probably a really great thing to do i personally like long hair on myself i love braids when my hair was super long i used to wear two braids and that automatically made me look a little bit younger because it's a hairstyle you would expect on a younger girl than on a mature woman so yeah it makes a huge difference then i have here a note about clothing of course you can make yourself look a little bit more mature with like business clothing and you can look so much younger if you're wearing jeans or some you know sassy stuff so that's also something where you can experiment and see what clothing make you makes you feel like younger in your own body and also I, I think it's very important to have clothing that fits you well so just because there is a trend of let's say crop top doesn't mean you have to wear it I think just forget about trends forget about trends when it comes to makeup and hair and clothing and everything find what works for you and don't care about what is modern right now because at the end of the day, you have to feel great in your own body. You have to feel great uh, with the hair that you're wearing. You have to feel great with your makeup and with your clothing. So if you find something that you know fits you well, just wear it regardless of what's fashionable right now. One thing that will help you to feel great about yourself and to appear youthful is exercising. You really need to stay in shape. And I don't mean it in terms of having a supermodel body because there is no such thing as the ideal body type. That always varies. The, all these industries are telling us things so that we feel like crap about ourselves so that they can sell us stuff. Forget about it. Work with you have, but you need to take great care of your body. Don't just lay on the sofa. That's bad for you. You're not going to feel great about yourself. You need to exercise. Find whatever works for you. If you want to go to a fitness center, go there. If you want to do yoga, do that. If you want to go just on long walks, do that. But you need to keep moving because this is really good for your body and you will see you will feel better about yourself. So definitely stay in shape. But as I said, ignore any ideal body types because this is always like a seasonal thing. In my opinion, it changes over the years. And also I hate body shaming. I hate both fat and skinny shaming. If I had a magic one and I could make it disappear, that would be wonderful because I feel like no one should make you feel bad about the way you look, no matter if it's your body type or your face or your hair. I also noticed that people who very often appear older than they are, are people who are hateful and cranky and not really nice to others. I feel like being loving and kind also changes something in your facial expression so this is something I can also advise but honestly from what I have seen so far you guys are so amazing so you already can make a checking sign to that and there is one last note that I have written down and that is enjoy the process of aging because I feel like if we don't look at it as something negative it changes the whole game. I feel like we are being told by all the industries all the time, like anti-aging this, and this is going to help you to stay young. Of course, I want to appear young. However, there's nothing wrong with aging, you know, like you're going to get wrinkles, your hair is going to change color, maybe it's going to get white at some point, and your skin is going to change. I can tell that my skin is not as soft as it used to be, and I need to moisturize more. But there are other things that come with aging that I personally find wonderful. For example, I am a little bit calmer when things happen because I have more experience than I had when I was younger. And yes, when I wake up in the morning, I feel super stiff, but there is a solution. I do my warm up and I do sports in the morning, couple of days a week, and then I feel wonderful again. And this is like... I feel like aging is always being portrayed as something negative, but it's a wonderful thing because we have this life and we can experience every single day and every single day brings something wonderful. Now, our son turned 21 this year and I'm, I started imagining how it will be if he's ever going to have children, like I'm going to be grandma and then I have in my head the picture of myself with really long gray hair, wrinkles, holding his children and it's just such a wonderful thought for me I don't need to look young at that age I will look like a grandmother and I'm gonna be a very proud grandmother so I think 
if you switch these things in your mind, then it doesn't seem being so scary anymore because it's a part of our life, of our life. Like it's nothing negative. And of course, there is nothing wrong with using great lotions and moisturizers for your body and for your skin in order to keep your skin look beautiful. But I feel like we shouldn't obsess with it too much and we should not be scared of these changes that are coming with our age. And the last thing I would like to talk about today is makeup. I think that makeup is a really wonderful tool that can alter your appearance. You can play with different looks and it can be so much fun because it's a very creative thing. However, when you alter your appearance with makeup, it doesn't mean that it's always necessarily for the better. So I would say in general, sometimes less is more and you have to find out what works for yourself regardless of any trends. And it's important to find what colors complement your complexion and also what look makes you look older or younger because just because a wink looks great on someone's eye doesn't mean that it's gonna look great on your eye. And if you feel like you look better without makeup, then don't wear any makeup. If you feel like you look better with makeup, then wear makeup. I think there is no right and wrong. There is just I think the the only rule there is to find out what makes you feel great about yourself because again you are going to present it that way when you feel great about yourself with what you're wearing and how your makeup looks and how your hair looks people are going to notice because you you are going to shine you're going to be this glowy person that feels so wonderful and everyone's going to notice it you know so overall, I think the most important thing is to not give a shit about what people think about you and to embrace this natural circle of life and to be confident in being yourself. I already have a video about being yourself. I will link it down below. And I really hope that this video today made any sense because sometimes I have so many thoughts in my mind, but it's so difficult to put them into sentences that do not sound gibberish. So that's it for today. If you like today's video, I would be very happy if you would give the video a thumb up because that really helps my channel. You can also subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. And as usual, I will link a lot of stuff down below in the description box. And if you want to contribute, if you have any tips for how to appear youthful, you are very welcome to write it down below in the comments. And it was wonderful to see you guys again. I love you guys so much and I'm looking forward to see you with my next video. Bye.